Hello, my name is Ada and I am founder and CEO of Skill Crush. And I'm Randall. Welcome to Skill Crush TV, where we give you the resources and answers that you need to build a career in tech. We talk all the time here at Skill Crush about how fun and amazing and life-changing it is to learn to code, and that is true, but it is also really challenging. And sometimes, code can leave you feeling like a fourth grader who just does not get long division. Let's not lose our cool, then we're no better than the machine. When I first started coding, I used to wish I could have a mentor on speed dial all the time. Who am I kidding? I still want that. Um, yes. I'm calling for the brain. Yeah, of Pinky and the brain. Yeah. No. No, I just need... I just need help with it. Okay. Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? I think so, Brain, but there's still a bug stuck in here from last time. It's a situation that happens a lot in tech and I totally get it. Learning to code can be scary and when you're at your wit's end, all you wanna do is call in the professionals. Even though working through problems on your own might take you 10 times longer than asking an expert, I've learned from experience that it actually makes you become a better coder faster if you try to get through the problems on your own before calling in for help. Tell me if you've been here. Your mom calls and she's visiting for the weekend and she asks you, what's the weather like there? Um, how do I find your house? And so you get on your computer and Google weather in my town, um, directions from my mom's house to my town. And then you call your mom back and tell her everything you found online. And you're like, that would have been faster if my mom just Googled it herself. Of course, it's your nice old mother, so you don't say anything, you just do it for her and don't make her feel bad about it. The same is true in code. I think that all designers and developers at some point have had this moment where they just feel really silly after they emailed a mentor for help and the response they get is something like, I Googled and found this and then it has a link and you're like, I could have just Googled that. I wasted their time. The internet is out there just waiting for you to peruse it, so go use it. Chances are whatever problem you're having, someone else has had before. So you could find it on a forum, on a YouTube video, on a blog. And only then when you've tried everything to help yourself online, it might be time to find a mentor. Now if you are pumped about taking code into your own hands and learning to get unstuck, I want you to share that excitement with your friends. Tweet this. Let me Google that for you. How to learn to help yourself while you learn to code. And if you have any questions, we love getting emails. So hit us up at hello at skillcrush.com or tweet us at skillcrush.